Hey, Danny. I was looking for you, man. Where have you been? How are you? Hello, Peter. Yeah, I was kind of busy doing some paperwork. What's up? It's not a big deal, but you know we're in the middle of the month and we get paid at the end of it. Yeah, I know. So, what's wrong with that? We just need to wait till the end of the month. That's the thing. I can't wait that long. I have some things to buy and I'm short of money. Okay. Well, I suppose you will have to wait to buy those things. I need to buy them now. I was wondering if you can lend me some money. Just till the end of the month. It depends on how much money you need. How much do you want? It's not much money. Just $900. I will pay you back when I get a bonus. I don't have $900, Peter. I think that's too much money. Oh, come on. I will pay back. I promise. Make it possible. Seriously, Peter. I don't have that amount of money in my bank account. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Why don't you just lend me 500 and I will be fine with that. I don't think that's gonna happen either. I'm sorry. I don't have $500 either. All right, all right. Then, it's just going to be $200. Of course you have them. Yeah, you know what. I have to go now. I have a lot of work to do. Good luck with that. So, you're not lending me any money, then? At least one hundred dollars. No, I don't think so. But I hope you can get it. Have a nice day, Peter. See you around. Yeah, sure. Thank you, anyway. Think about it, okay? See you around. Okay, that was Danny. He earns less money than I do. Maybe he is not lying and he doesn't have it. But I need to get that money some way. Oh. I know. I'm gonna ask Frank. Hey, pet. What's up, my friend? Why do you look so bad? What happened? Hello, Frank. I'm a little sad, you know. My grandmother is sick. She had an accident. Oh, that's a pity. Wait, she's sick or she had an accident? I don't get it. Eh? Oh. She had an accident and due to that accident, she was diagnosed. I see. And what was she diagnosed with? If I am allowed to ask, of course. Sure, doctors don't know. 
they don't have any idea. It's a new virus. New virus? Uh, well, I hope she can get better soon, Peter. I will pray for her. Yeah, thank you, but... To find out what this new virus is, many tests are required, you know. Yeah, I suppose. Well, I hope everything goes well and they can find out what it is. Thank you, but those tests are really expensive and we have already spent a lot of money. And that's why I wanted to ask you. Can I borrow some money? Just until the end of the month. She needs more blood tests and those kinds of things. You know a virus is something serious. So, that's why I need you to lend me just $900 to continue with those tests. Of course, I will pay you back at the end of the month. It is just this time, please, Frank. Peter, although I'd love to help you, I can't. Don't you remember I already lent you money? What? What are you talking about? I don't remember that. When did you? Oh, you just remember, right? You told me your grandmother died five months ago. And you wanted $500 to do some paperwork or something like that. Hey, you know what? I confused. She didn't die. It was my grandfather. Yeah, he died back then. But I'm sure my grandmother will be fine. It's just flu, I think. Have a good day, Frank. Peter, Peter. I don't know how to feel about him. And it is not the first time he... Morning, Frank. What happened, bro? You look a little worried. What's wrong? Hey, Danny. No, I'm fine. I was just thinking about Peter. He's just left. Oh, that Peter. Is he asking for money again? What was it this time? His aunt. His car. No, no. He just made up a whole story about his grandmother. I mean, why does he have to do that? Because it's Peter, my friend. He always asks for money and then he never pays that money back. I know that because I made the mistake of lending him money last year. 400. And guess what I'm still waiting for that money. And you know what the worst thing is? He had told me his house had burned down because of a short circuit or something like that. He sounded very realistic. Let me tell you. So I believed him and lent him that money. And just two days later, I went to his home with groceries to help. And nothing had happened. Of course, he just made up a different story and then I knew he would never give me my money back. 
and the worst thing is after five months he asked me for money again shameless apparently he has asked everyone for money in this office i think he has a problem a serious one anyway I suppose he will understand some day that what he is doing is not correct, right? Yeah, I guess so. I just wonder what he does with all that money he borrows. Anyway, at least everyone already knows him. So, how have you been? How was the Good morning, sir. Are you okay? I mean, why were you running in the office? Nothing. I was just. Hey, you are new in this office, right? I have not seen you before. Yeah, I have just started working yesterday. I am the new systems engineer, Paolo. Paolo. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Peter and I work in the sales area. You know what I do have a problem. Somebody stole my wallet. Damn. You mean in this office? But that's impossible, sir. We have cameras everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I know. But they told me they are not working well, so you know. And I really needed that money. My computer doesn't work and I need to fix it right away. And you are a systems engineer, you should know it is not cheap to fix an expensive computer. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But I know about computers. I can help you check it and then. Oh, no, no. There is already a person who fixed it. I just needed the money to pay him for that work. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do for you. Oh, you are so kind. Could you please lend me $900? That would be great. $900. But that's too much money just to repair your computer. Oh, the problem is I had important information there and that's why the price you know. Well, okay, then. I think I have $900. Oh, you are so kind. And don't worry. I will pay you back at the end of this month. Yeah, sure. And it's so sad somebody stole your wallet. I'm sorry about that. You are right. Well, have a good day. And thank you again for the money. Take care. I never thought that could happen in this work. I have to watch my stuff now. God. Hey, Paolo. How's your day going? Is everything okay? Why are you so worried? I have just met Peter and it turns out somebody has stolen his wallet and he needed money for. Peter? Oh, no. Don't tell me he borrowed money from you. Yeah, of course. Poor man. I would feel terrible if that happened to me. Oh, no. Paolo. I had to tell you this before, but we never lend Peter money. Please, 
Let me tell you some interesting stories about him. What? Damn! How stupid I was!